Five Minute Fiddle. I'm Ben, this is my violin, and um, we're gonna look at some violin playing. My violin playing. So today I'm looking at another one of my solos I've played on film, and I'm gonna be looking at it and maybe explaining why I've done certain things and uh, talk a little bit about my own playing within it. So this particular clip is from a show I did uh, last year, about a year ago, in the famous Concord Club. And this song is what we close the first set with. It's a bit of a favourite of mine. I'm a big fan of the Beatles, so we do a jazz version of Can't Buy Me Love. And like I say, I like it. It's bluesy, it's jazzy, it's swinging. It's got a lot of energy. It's a good ender for the first set. So I'm going to look at my violin solo, which is about um, 49 seconds in. Let's just watch it and let's see what I can explain. I'm in love. <laughs> Okay, so to start off the solo, there was that kind of high, um, it was a D. And it, I, I, I always like that kind of high shrillness. I, I always point it out. But I think it kind of grabs attention straight away. So if you go. And I think it just starts with that, that nice kind of bang um, with that. The other thing, uh, going over the chords are quite bluesy chords. So you'll notice that when it goes from the G to the C7, I'll just switch to a G minor, which I always think it's nice when you do a blues and you got that tonic. And then when it goes to the four chord, if you go to the minor of the tonic, it fits over it because it's got all the same notes and that kind of thing. So at about 054, there's a little hint of an exercise, a good exercise to do. I only do a couple of notes of it. I think I do that much, but actually if you use it as an exercise, and it's uh, and you can use it around all the scales and that kind of thing, along the same pattern. But it's funny how the exercises, they appear a little bit, you know, in, in solos and stuff. And then just to round off the section, there's just rounding off back to the G. And moving on. So a similar section, another A section, and there's that little run in. I like to introduce the sections, you know. There's that kind of uh, run in as it goes into the second section. Just highlights that a little bit. And to keep the energy high, to keep the energy going, I'm, I'm keeping the notes moving quite a lot, keeping those quite fast runs going. Like it's energy, I, I, I like the energy throughout it, you know. Right, moving onwards to the middle section. <laughs> So into the middle section, you know, I, I listening back, I could have probably highlighted the end of that second A section a bit more, you know, ready to go into this this brand new uh, B section. But into the middle section, one thing I find very important about, especially tunes like this, is the, to highlight each chord. I try to really make sure that I'm playing the right notes over the right chords. Because the chords here, you're going from a B minor to E minor, a slightly different anyway to usual, and then two five one. I mean, that's what the chords are, you know. I want to, I want, I want to play over them. So at the end of this B section, I'm playing off beats before they would normally come, and then when the band played the off beats, I play on the beat. <laughs> I think that's nice because it's almost like a call and answer thing, you know. I know it's coming, so I throw those off beats in, then the band throw them back, and it, you know, it kind of has that nice response going on. I quite like that. So again, mirroring how I started the solo, you've got that kind of high, real high note highlighting, this is it, you know, this is the, the my last little bit, and it kind of gives it that last little oomph. 
you know, just gives it that lead in, I think. And then to round off the solo, you've got that. Those little double stops, that little run up to the. But instead of keeping going, instead of. I'm going. And that I think gives it just a little bit of a push into the guitar solo. And of course with the guitar, he's probably gonna do some kind of chordal things anyway. So it kind of prepares for that almost. It's just highlighting a little bit of that. That's it for five minute fiddle today. I hope you enjoyed it. A little look. See you next time.